This is week two of the spring trimester. So last week I was working on the transfer drawing and I got that finished. So um, on Saturday, I stretched and toned my canvas and then on Monday I started the painting. Now I was realizing <clears throat> working on it this week that I really should have stretched and toned the canvas a lot sooner because unfortunately the tone all this week was not dry. And so that made it a really frustrating uh, surface to work on. So when I was trying to, um, when I transferred the image of Brian onto the canvas and then I was painting on it, it was a struggle with like putting a paint stroke down and trying to get paint off my brush onto the canvas, but at the same time since that underlayer wasn't dry yet, it was actually, um, the brush would pull up paint too, so it was like really weird things going on. But by the end of the week I was noticing that it was finally starting to dry and I wasn't pulling up a lot of paint when I was trying to put paint down. So um, this coming week hopefully it's a really dry nice surface to work on. So on Monday and Tuesday for the figure painting um, I got the image transferred onto the canvas and I just spent those two days just working on the wash. Working on the wash it's really all about um, re-establishing the drawing and really trying to get the structure of it. So I'm um, keeping everything super simple, just using one mixture of paint, which is a mixture of raw umber and black. And so that way you're not dealing with color or temperature or anything like that. Um, I wasn't even using a medium at all for this. So it's just the paint and um, lighter areas, I would apply it thinly. And if I wanted anything darker, I would just apply it more thickly for that. And then on Wednesday, I started establishing the shadows on Brian in relationship tonally to uh, the background. So for the most part, the shadows on Brian are darker than the background, so I made sure that that was all making sense. And then also the shadows on Brian are also a lot warmer, so I made a mixture, or the same mixture that I used for the wash actually, which was, was just the raw umber and black, which is like a warm brown. And then for the background, um, it's a lot cooler. So I did a mixture of black and white, so it kind of made this like really cold gray. But by the end of the day, um, I was looking at the painting and I really wasn't liking that decision that I made. Um, the Brian just really didn't relate at all to the background. Um, everything, or the background and Brian just looked really disjointed. And why it was looking like that was because Brian looked super warm and the background looked super cool, but they didn't relate to each other at all. So then on Thursday, I fixed that problem by um, warming up areas in the background and then also putting more cool toads in Brian. And so that was really helping everything look a lot more unified and I was um, getting happier with how I was looking. And then Friday I spent the whole time uh, working on the dark half tones all the way into the lights. And so I was trying to establish um, or paint all of Brian and get the his overall value structure. And Magda came by and she suggested that I really smooth out my brush strokes and so the emphasis is just on value structure. And she said once I um, feel more confident with the value structure then I can start adding in my interesting brush work. And I didn't quite make my goal that I wanted to on Friday. Um, I kind of ran out of time. So his portrait is really brought, blocked in um, pretty roughly. And then also I didn't make it at all to his lower legs or his feet so I'll have to work on that next week. And then on my cast for the afternoon session, um, I was really working on the, or finishing up the value structure of the face and then also the structure in the base. And then also I was noticing that in my painting, which I'm gonna have to correct, it's kind of lacking in the dark half tones. So uh, from the shadow, the dark half tones going into the light, those dark half tones um, are really cool in nature and in my painting, they're pretty warm. So I know I'm gonna have to fix, the, fix that um, coming this week. But by the end of the week, I think I finally have my key established, um, finding my lightest light. Now, on this um, cast, there's a highlight on her forehead, and it's the brightest part of the whole painting. So I've been basing the whole key off of that. So what I've been doing is taking a really thick brush stroke of just pure white and placing it on the painting on the forehead, and then relating all of the tones off of that. And I'm still trying to maintain um, a really nice, even, uh, surface before I start getting crazy with brush work. So what I've been doing at the end of each day is I take a palette knife and I scrape off that really thick brush stroke on her forehead. And this is also kind of um, making an interesting surface too, really subtly right now. But it's um, every time I scrape it off, it leaves like a really smooth area of paint right there. And so um, each day when I do that, it builds it up just a little bit. So it's super gradual, but it is getting built up right there, which is really cool because in nature that highlight looks like it sits on top of the head. So it's getting like a really nice um, uh, thicker area right there. 
And again, this was a really nice week for me, um, only a few minor setbacks, so I'm really excited to get in uh, to the studio this week.